Okay, friends, for this particular wreath, I'm going to be poop meth method. This is the deco mesh that I'm going to be using. It's cotton ball, 10 and a half inch wide. So we have this one. I'll leave the description number down in the description box. I also, I'm not sure if I'm going to add this yet, but this is like a orangish yellow. It kind of reminds me of fall, but then again, it reminds me of Easter too. Because I'll also today be using these two ribbons. Now, I do not have these available in my shop. Just the bunny and the white, which is super cute, and it goes with the sign. So let's get started. This wreath frame has six sections. Every section is between the brackets. But since I'm trying to show you how to prepare your wreath form, I'm going to show you per section because every section is going to be just alike. So now I have these two on. Now I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, wrap it around the rungs closest to the middle. Now you want to put this in between here and just tie it on. Okay, every single section is going to have four pipe cleaners. So again, now that I put this one on, I go straight down from it around those two rings and twist this one on. And there's what we have. Okay, to each remaining section, I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did here. Okay, now for the mesh, I'm going to be using this green mesh. And what I'm going to do, I may be using this as well. Again, I'm not positive, but it sure does match the honey and the sign really well. So I'm going to set this aside. So what I do is just take my deco mesh, drop it to the floor. This is a 10 inch roll of deco mesh. Actually, this is 10 and a half. Okay, I'm just gonna walk my fingers up the end of it and put it down right before a tie. And I'm not gonna be using that tie. So in other words, I'm just gonna open it up, put my mesh in here. I start with a zip tie all the time when I'm doing a poof method wreath. Okay, put the, there we go. Okay, now I know this isn't going anywhere. Today my poofs are gonna be about eight inches. Now, you can get a measuring tape or you know, cloth sewing tape, whatever you want to use if you need to measure. I usually just do it by eye. So, I'm going to be doing 8 inch poofs. And you go back and poof it out. Okay, again, you want to make sure your mesh is tucked under. Go eight inches. Go into the very next pipe cleaner. We're on the outside. We're working on the outside. And poof it out. Go 
I'll do one more with you guys, and then I'm going to carry on. I'll come back when I get the... I'll come back before I transition up to the middle. And I know you can see it through it right now, but you will not be able to. Making sure your mesh is tucked in because you want it to poof out. You don't want it to fold. And twist it on making sure your pipe cleaners are standing up because you're going to need them for your ribbon all of the inside pipe cleaners are facing in okay you guys I'm going to finish going around the outside doing the poofs and I will meet you back before I go to the inside see you in a little bit Okay, remember, I'm doing the inside poofs as of right now, and there's six of them. So, in all, we have 18 pipe cleaners. Okay, so I put it on the inside tie and I'm back where I started from, where the zip tie is. Now I'm going to take my mesh and just crisscross it all the way around the outside of the wreath. So I have, I'm going from the inside pipe cleaner directly down. Now I'm going to zigzag my way. I'm going to go around one more time. And poof it out every time. Make sure inside pipe or the outside pipe cleaners again are pointing out. There's my mesh and I'm on the inside, so now I'm going to make a poof to the outside. Just so I can make sure this wreath is very nice and full.
now we've got a really full wreath. I'm not sure if I'm going to add that other mesh. I just really liked it because it reminds me of the color of honey. And the honey on the sign, it matches perfectly. Let me get all the way around for the third time. And then I'm going to decide if I want to add the curls. Down into here. Going back to the top. I'm just going bottom, top, bottom, top. Just like that. Just zigzagging back and forth. Making sure that's not going to fall. Turn the wreath over. And where I stop, I'm going to take a zip tie. And zip tie the mesh onto there. I do not want to lose sleep thinking that if someone buys my wreath, it's going to unravel. That would be terrible. So I just take extra precautions. This is how I was taught to do it. So I've just always done it this way. Okay, get that really tight. We'll cut off the excess deco mesh. And cut off the pipe cleaner. I mean, and cut off the zip tie. I okay, we have a really pretty full base. Not sure if I do want to add the curls. I'm thinking about it though. Because the thing is, I think that the mesh matches the honey. Or, not the mesh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah. Okay. My dilemma is I have this mesh that I was going to put in here because it matches the honey. I'm also trying to figure out if I want to put a little blue in here because of the butterflies and the flowers right here. Now blue is big time for 2023. It's in a lot of decor and a lot of people are looking for like splashes of blue. So I may be adding blue, but let's just go along and then I'll let you know what I've decided to do. Now let me roll this up. You guys saw me pushing down on that. I need a new blade in there. Okay, am I gonna like these added? I'm thinking I will. out okay I want to put it down there and tie it tight but not don't cut it off yet because we still have a ribbon okay there's the curl of course I'll have one on every pipe cleaner I'm gonna go ahead and cut my mesh and I will be back I like for my curls to go in kind of flat so that when I add the ribbon, they don't make my ribbon act up. You'll see what I mean. Let's see, up. Okay, I like for all of them to be facing that way. Next one, I'm going to be putting the, one of these in every single pipe cleaner. Here's what we're getting so far. Okay, you guys, we're going to move on to the ribbons. I'm going to be using the bunny ribbon with the white. Kind of Easter-y, but again, this can be spring. It doesn't have to be Easter. 
the sign says nothing about Easter. It just looks like a spring sign. Here are the next set of ribbons I'm going to be using. My ribbons are cut to 12 and a half inches long. Again, the sign. Not cute. And I have this little sisal bunny right here that I may be adding when I get finished. I'm not sure yet. You guys see that? Hopefully you can see it. So let me set this aside and we'll start adding ribbons first. Now, these two are the only ones I have available in my shop with the sign. I have lots of other sign and ribbon sets. So you can check them out as well. But for now, I'm just going to start going on this. I don't have these two ribbons available, but I do have the bunny and the white. Scrunch it up. Pull your sides out. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay. Pull your sides out. Place it down into the pipe cleaner. And twist it off. started on the outside. So now the next one. Push it down. It's folded. It makes it easier to crease in the middle. You can do this part in your hand or however you're comfortable. And you just kind of pull it out like birdie wings. Set it down in there. Again, I'm on the outside. And pull them out. That looks really cute. Now I will go around and cut off my pipe cleaners at the end. See, oh, here they are. Now you guys can see them. Okay. So I'm going to continue on adding the cute little ribbons to the outside and when I get back we'll move on to the inside and then we're done with the ribbons on the wreath but we will be making a bow okay friends we came to the part where it's time to make a bow this is directional ribbon all the bunnies go the same way. They're standing up. So in order to make my bunnies all appear the same, I'm going to put this, take about an inch of it, put it down. You can put a little more so you take your ribbon, gather up the end, put it down into the bow maker. Now for my tails, I'm not going to have really big tails for this. I'm not going to have really long tails for this. So that way all of my bunnies are going in the same direction. Now. I can start on this side. And put this this way. You won't be able to see all these two things when I get done. I've got to twist the ribbon, take the ribbon out to about a uh, six, put it down in there, do the same with this side, out to about a six, same with this side, twist it, go to the six, go back, 
And now see, here's where we run into the dilemma because this loop right here is facing different than all of the other loops. I want all of my bunnies standing up the same way. So what I do is just take this loop that I've already made, twist it upside down, getting it as flat as you can there in the middle. Now my bunnies are all going the same way, which you wouldn't really think it was that big of a deal, but it kind of is because when you're, you look at something and it's directional and something's messed up with it, it stops your eye from looking at the rest. It just, it just does. Twist this again. My, my bunnies will not be right. Go to the six. I want all my bunnies standing up. So I will be twisting this one. There we go. That way everything is the same direction. No, this loop. Oh, it is the same. Okay, everything's in the same direction so far. I'm going to add one more loop of the bunny ribbon. All of these loops I'm putting down right now are measured to six inches. You guys, if you want to learn how to make a bow, almost all of my videos, I make a bow in them. Okay, now that it's like this, I want to spread out my loops. This is just how I do it. This is how I want my loops to be when I get my bow on the wreath. I'm trying really hard to keep this flat in the center. I bring it down and I can cut it off. Next ribbon is going to be this other Easter plaid that we used in the wreath. So I'm going to gather it up. I need a longer tail than that. So I'm going to gather it up. Place it down in there. Now for this, it's okay, you guys. This ribbon appears to be the same on both sides, but it is not. So I'm going to twist it. Now, this time, I'm going to take my bow only out to about the five and a half maybe five let's see how that looks of course I have the markings on my easy bow okay and you guys if you haven't yet please take a minute to subscribe to my channel like my video and ring the bell for notifications and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video or go live Okay, this one goes to the five. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Okay. Another way that you can always tell if your loops are the same is to hold them up. See if they're the same height than these are. Okay. Continue to go on. Oops. Now I don't have to measure on my bow maker or my mat because I'm just going to follow my existing loop that I already have down. And of course it's at 5 inches. So I twist. Go 
out. And back around. And I'm going to go for three loops of this color ribbon as well. Please don't forget to check out my ribbon and sign sets in my Etsy shop listed below. I have a few different ones. I have a lot of re-signs. I make them here. All right, our last loop for this ribbon on this bow. And I want to make sure everything is as flat as I can get it in here while I still have it on the bow maker. This one needs to be a tad bit shorter. Okay, I've got three on both sides of this particular ribbon. I'm going to cut it off. Now I'm going to add in the green that we used. I'm almost to 10,000 subscribers. I'm very excited. So every little bit helps. And the thumbs up really helps me on YouTube a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. And if you would, please live, list where you're watching from in the comments below. That's always interesting to find out. Okay, this one's going to four. A bit bigger. There we go. I think I'm going to do two loops of this on both sides. Same size, same size loop as my existing loop that's down again. change up my mind and do I do three loops on both sides with this yeah what the heck I might as well I have a sign and a little sisal bunny to put on this Just went ahead and made three loops since I did with the other ribbon and now next I'll be using the white ribbon because it comes with the kit the sign and ribbon kit all right I have three loops on both sides with this ribbon as well don't worry about my tails I can worry about them later And there we go. There we go. Of course, I'll still be able to adjust these when I get them on the wreath. cut this off now I'm gonna come in with the white ribbon 
It's also in the wreath. The white ribbon and the bunny ribbon and the sign are available in the description box below. Okay, now I want the white ones to be a tad bit shorter than the green, so the green sticks out from underneath it. And these are going to be at about three and a half, which is perfect for this size wreath. Side the tad bit longer. All right, we're going to twist. Go out following my existing white loop. Go in. Now I'm going to twist because this ribbon appears to be the same on both sides, but it is not. There's a right side and a wrong side. Do I want to do three with the white? Oh, well, what the heck. I might as well do three with the white. Three loops with the white ribbon, too. Twist it. And bring it down. Okay, I have all the ribbons on my bow maker. Of course, the tails will not be this long. Now I'm going to take a pipe clean or. Now I'm going to take a zip tie, put it up, put it up underneath all of the loops, bring it to the middle, making sure all of the loops are in there. Now I'm going to just click this until, put this on here until it clicks. Pull it up off the bow maker and set the bow maker aside. Scoot. Oh, it didn't go around that. Okay, now that I have the zip tie on, I'm going to turn my bow over, turn this down a bit, so you cannot see it. Those, these are the tail, tails that I had in there. Okay, let me see. Now I'm going to grab a pipe cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to put my pipe cleaner through the zip tie. That's why we haven't tightened it all the way up yet. Because I'm going to need this to tie the bow onto my wreath. Okay, go back around here. I want the head of the zip tie to kind of be in the back. I'm going to tighten everything up really good. A lot of times I have to use my needle nose pliers to pull the zip tie tight. My hand strength is not what it used to be. 
Okay, I can't find my wire snippers right now, so I'm just going to cut it. Okay, now, now we have a bow. All together. Okay, you guys, I'm back. All of my pipe cleaners, all of the stubs for my pipe pipe cleaners have been cut off, so you cannot see them anymore. Now for my sign, I have these cable mount ties. I, I, I don't really know what the name of them is. I They're for fastening things together. So I have some pipe cleaners here. I put these on with hot glue and E6000. So I'm going to put this through here and just tie it on to itself. This is what I'll be using to put the sign onto the wreath. Now I'm still not sure if I'm going to use this little sisal bunny. I might. For now I'm going to complete putting the pipe cleaners on. Okay, our sign is ready to go. I always place my sign on first before my bow. And if I was to add the ribbon, let me see how that would look. If I was to add the sisal bunny, let me see exactly where I might put it. If I put it at the bottom, I could put my sign on this side. And maybe the bow up on this side because my tails will be cut so we don't have to worry about the bunny being covered up um, so I put him about here and my sign I kind of like my sign on an angle let's try this okay to get any attachment that I'm going to put on my wreath on there I use this darning needle actually is for it's a crochet needle or a sewing needle but it works perfect you can get these at Walmart or you can go to wreath decor by wreath decor by Dawn she has them available in her shop okay put it in here now I want to just go right through my mesh because I don't like going around a hundred things trying to get my sign on so if I do it this way much easier just to pull it out the bottom okay we've got one on got the second one on trying to leave room for my little bunny put the rest of these on Trying to get it through close, close to the frame, as close to the frame as I can get it. Of course, you never want to tie your sign onto the mesh. You never want to glue your sign on by any means. Okay, now I'm going to temporarily fasten down my sign just so I'll know where exactly I want it to be at okay 
Okay, I leave this here. I could put Mr. Rabbit down here. I'm going to have to move my camera. I think I'm a little too close. Let me know what you guys think. Is the camera too close to my wreath? Or do you see well with it like this? Okay, this might have to go over a bit. Put my bow here. That's cute. Put my bow right here. Let me go ahead and add the bow while I have it here so I know exactly where I want it. My little needle go. Putting the pipe cleaners inside the needle. I'm just going to stuff both of these pipe cleaners in here because they're pretty much going to the same place. These are the pipe cleaners for the bow. Take it and go right through the mesh. Now, if I don't like the way my bow is placed, I'll move it. Okay, and of course, all this will get fluffed up and put all of this will get fluffed up and the tails will be cut. Alrighty, let me see something. I want the bow right here. Or do I want it over a bit? Because if I add the little rabbit, or bunny rabbit, I think I'll put him right here. Yeah, let me see this. Here's a little rabbit. I have to use black pipe cleaners for this, but that's okay. Nobody will see any of it. And usually, I cover the back of my wreaths if they look crazy. But I don't if everything looks kind of pretty uniform. I just don't cover it. Alright, let's put the little bunny rabbit right here. Yeah, I might have to move that bow over. Okay, I'm adding the little bunny. For now, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. We'll have to see. Again, I'm trying to get my pipe cleaner as close to the frame as possible. I'm going to tie the bunny on the back, again, temporarily, to see if I like it where I placed it. I'll have to move it over just a bit so that the doesn't interfere with the sign. Okay, now for the bow. Let me cut these tails down. Fluff it out a lot. I've got quite a lot of fluffing to do to this bow, which I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch me fluff out a bow. Make sure the bow is where I want it before I start cutting tails. Grab my pipe cleaners from that. I don't mind if my bow sinks down a bit. I think I might want to move it over a tad. Let me see.
Okay. I was able to get the bow and the sign on the wreath and the little sisal bunny. I'm just going to fluff up my bow. Now for my ends of my ribbons, I usually curl up my one and a half inch ribbon. So I definitely dovetail all of them. And the way to do that is to fold your ribbon with the wires matching up to each other. Of course, all this ribbon is wired. Start on the folded side and cut down to the wires and you get a finished look. It's called a dovetail. Do that to all of my ribbons. Let me see, I may want to cut these a lot shorter so that my bunny is visible. See this. Mm. Let me see what it looks like curled up. See how see how much I'm gonna see how much shorter they are curled. Yeah, I think curling them is gonna give me the room I'm looking for for the bunny. Now, I do not curl my two and a half inch ribbon. I just kind of rub my hands underneath it so that it will kind of curl under. But I do dovetail them. And, and again, you guys, look at my sign and ribbon sets in my Etsy shop. that does go over there okay I'm gonna dovetail my bunny ribbon this bunny ribbon is so cute just adorbs okay this one can be shorter this one can be shorter and this one okay let me Dovetail this side of the bow tails. Hopefully you guys can see. I may have to change my angle. Let me know how well you can see what I'm doing. I know sometimes I do get out of the shot of the camera, but I really try, you guys. Okay. I'm going to curl this better. Just like curling your daughter's pig pigtails. That's what it reminds me of. This one to go this way. Let me know if you would have curled these tails as well. Cut this one down a bit more. Definitely cutting down this one. Okay, go back and dovetail them again. I didn't realize how long they were. Not sure if I'm going to leave these curled. I'll just have to see. All right, you guys. This is my local honey spring wreath. Don't forget to check out the sign and the ribbon combos that I have linked in the description below in my Etsy shop. 
Also, please subscribe to my channel.